Today in the kitchen, we are putting together a seafood paella. Seafood paella that we're putting together today, first of all, is a healthy meal. Second, this particular meal is done in 30 minutes. Take a look at the ingredients list for our seafood paella. You are going to need a cup of long grain rice that's been rinsed well. We're going to cook it, uh, that one cup, in about one and a half cups of chicken broth. Now you do want to make sure that this chicken broth is well seasoned. So then we're going to add about a half teaspoon of paella seasoning mix. And that's something you can actually buy or you can just put your own together, whatever it is, flavors that you like. And I'll talk about that later. You're going to add in two pinches of saffron down into your liquid. And of course, you're going to need salt and pepper. And uh, you want to make sure that you stir that liquid up really well, really well, because you do not want any of that to end up, up on the container that you're preparing your rice in. You want to make sure that all those seasonings go into the actual uh, mix and add into the rice itself as it cooks. Then you're going to need one pound of shrimp, one pound of scallops, and the size of shrimp and scallop that you per that you purchase is up to you. Uh, sometimes you can find the jumbos and they are certainly pretty in a paella. And sometimes you can find the larger scallops. And when you can't, you'll use whatever it is you have. I also added in a pound of cod, and I used cod because cod is um, has a lot of substance to it and doesn't cook away. And so that's the reason why I used that particular type of fish. But I have done it and used other types of fish, so don't think that if you can't find cod that you can't get whatever it is that you, that you like. But you are going to want a white fish, and you are going to want something that's as pretty thick that can hold its, its own. You're going to need uh, one diced green pepper. You're going to want some um, sliced onions or sliced or diced onions. And of course, we're going to need another about one and a half cups of chicken broth. Isn't that easy? Oh man. So let's get down to business. I know. You're already seeing. How in the world do you prepare paella in 30 minutes? Well, stay right there and you're going to find out. I've placed the rice into this bowl and this is a, bowl, a microwavable bowl that we're going to use. And I am going to, uh, I've rinsed it well so that it's nice and clean and I've rinsed it until it was clear. In this container, I've added in our seasonings and uh, I made sure I had everything in it. So I'm just um, letting you know that I'm putting in our, I've put in our onion. I added in some extra seasonings. This is a little bit of the mixture of the seasonings that you saw and um, which has a little garlic powder, onion powder, of course, uh, a little paprika. We've put in uh, saffron into this mix, uh, salt and pepper, and um, I'm pouring it over to make sure that I have, I need a thumbs, the thumb section above the rice. That's how you determine. You don't really have to even measure the water. You just put the rice in, put your thumb gently on top of that rice, and once it gets up to the line of your thumb, then you know you have exactly the amount of liquid that you need. And that's about an inch over the top of your rice. So we're gonna put this into the microwave and we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes. Now we have our, our uh, seafood and we are going to um, get that seafood ready. And uh, I have in there both all, all the seafood that we need. We have our um, shrimp, our scallops, our fish, every, the fish has been cubed. And what I wanna do is that as you can hear, it's pretty 
pretty, um, it's moving around quite a bit. So what I did was that I had frozen these. They were frozen. I got purchased most of it from Aldi's with the exception of the shrimp and I got that from Kroger. And um, we are going to get that into the, into the bag. We're gonna put those seasonings into the bag. And uh, we're going to have those ready to go. So I am just tossing those around so that they are able to uh, get touched by the seasonings and I'm gonna massage them so that those seasonings are all over it. And like I said, the secret of the paella is making sure that everything is well seasoned in advance. And then once you start to put your paella together, then you know that you can uh, have a really good dinner. So on the stove, I've got a large skillet that I've placed a little bit of oil down into the bottom. And uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna let that get almost screaming hot. So I'm playing around with the temperature just to make sure I want it to be screaming hot, but I don't want it to burn up everything. So that's something to keep in mind. And gas stoves are known that if you get it too hot, it will burn. So I figured out I needed just a tad bit more oil. And I'm adding that into the bottom of the pan. Just sprinkling a little and that's grapeseed oil. You know, that's what I use most of the time. And uh, you use your oil of choice, but because this is a pretty high temperature, you're either going to want to use a vegetable oil, uh, canola oil, whatever it may be, but don't use olive oil because of the temperatures. Now, so I'm putting all the fishes in, all the seafood. And you know, the good thing about it being in a Ziploc bag is that we can zip it up and throw it away. And that saves us on time and cleanup later. So I've got my fish in and I'm gonna give everything a chance. I really want that fish to uh, almost have a little bit of browning on one side, if at all possible. That's what we're gonna try to shoot for. But remember, we're staying within our 30 minutes. So we cannot play around because this is going to come together very quickly. Now, I thought I needed to add just a tad bit more salt. And uh, so as you can see, I'm sprinkling in a little more salt. Um, I'll probably put in a little more pepper because those are things that, you know, you have to season everything at each level. I also have my chicken broth ready. And like I said, I'm letting this get nice and hot. And you'll know when your seafood is ready because the, the pinkness and the, there'll be a significant color change. And so you want that to, uh, when you do this, you really want everything to come up. So we have our seafood, you can see it's boiling, it's bubbling, all the liquids and whatever juices from that seafood has come out. And what I'm gonna do for just a moment is that I'm gonna take it out and uh, we're gonna to start to add a few more things down into this skillet. And then we're gonna let the rice come into play because you know that paella is all about that rice. That's well seasoned rice. When we went to Spain, I think we had paella in some variation just about every day. We had it at a different place because we were trying to find the perfect paella. So let's get that uh, fish out of this skillet I even talked to our concierge who uh, liked to cook, found out I liked to cook. So he was always giving me all of his little tidbits as we would um, start to go somewhere or if I was sitting in the lobby. And it was a lot of fun, just a chit chat. So uh, anyway, you know, once somebody knows what you like, uh, they will help you out. All you have to do is ask a few questions. Oh, you can do that? Oh, well, tell me what do you put in this? And that's what you ask. And they are more than willing to let you know what, all, what that's all about. Now, all of our juices down in the bottom are just gonna add more flavor. So I'm adding in the onion, and this is that half of diced onion, 
trying to get that little bit of seafood out because we do not want our seafood to be rubbery. And I'm adding in our green peppers that have also been diced. There they are. And we're just gonna give those a good stir. Now, you know, we have not seasoned these. So we, we know that the broth that's down in the bottom of the pan is well seasoned, but we need to add a little more salt and pepper to the vegetables. So I'm doing that and I want this to be very hot. So let's get a little more salt and pepper and give it a good stir. Now I'm gonna, it's not gonna take but a couple minutes when this is gonna come together. Now I, in some places they, they add tomatoes in some places they don't. So for this particular version, because we're trying to do it quickly, I added in some tomato sauce and that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of adding in a little bit of tomato sauce because I do like a little bit of that tomato seasoning that goes into it. And if you decide you want to do the whole can, that was a small can, if you want to use the whole can, you can certainly do that. Or you can use tomato paste. But if you use tomato paste, you really have to cook it well. Now, our rice looks delicious. So we're going to add right in the center of our pan, we're going to start adding in the rice. Now that rice has already soaked up all the juices that we had uh, in the bowl. And I'm using this entire bowl. So all of that is going to go into the mixture. So I'm using my little paddle wooden spoon. You know, that's my favorite little wooden spoon. You know, I don't know what it is about this spoon, but it is the one I grab all the time. And uh, I am just getting that down into the pan. Now, let me tell you a little bit. Of course, you're going to add more liquid. And, uh, but you do want to let this, this rice kind of brown a little bit on the bottom. So that's the reason you want to keep your heat high. At not high, high, but you know, you want to keep it at a good level. So we're going to add a little bit of juice, be a little bit of chicken broth because we want that to come together and we want it to come together quickly. And so we are uh, mixing just a little bit. Notice I did not just dump that cup and a half of chicken broth in because I may not need all of that, but I have it just in case. So what I'm doing is that I'm spreading the rice down so that it comes in contact with the bottom of the pan. Give it a good mash because I want the bottom of this pan to start to brown. And I'm going to add the seafood on top. Now, I should have put a top on it, but I didn't. I let it stay right where it was. And you know what? It did just fine. You could certainly add a top and uh, let that come up to a real good heat. But I'm 30 minute, thir using a 30 minute meal recipe, which is mine that I've put together. So I added in just enough liquid to keep the heat going, to, to get that seafood nice and hot again. And uh, I'm moving things around just a bit. And then I'm gonna get the seafood down into that rice so that the rice has that seafoody taste. And if you have uh, seafood broth, you could certainly have used seafood broth uh, to prepare the rice and it would have already had that good seafood flavor. I didn't have that. So that's why we're taking this step. So I've let this sit for at least five minutes. And on the bottom of this pan, I've sprinkled in some green onions and it is going to be good. So here we are serving. We are ready. Look at how beautiful this looks. As you can see the little brown edges on the rice and uh, the seafood is ready. Now guys, mm, I do not like to talk with my mouth full. And I am going to taste this. It is screaming hot. Mm, see if you can tell by my face how good it is. 
Mm, 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 mm. It is delicious. You want some? This is an easy 30-minute weeknight meal that you're not going to want to want to pass up. It is delicious. You know what? Our other ladies in this hop are going to also prepare delicious meals. Now, down in my description box, you're going to see the person to hop right on over to and watch one more delicious, easy 30-minute meal. So I hope you have an absolutely wonderful time as you prepare all of these dishes. So if you have not joined my channel, I hope you will and become a part of the family. If you have not um, gone down and liked the video, shared the video, please do that because that is always a great way to be able to support the channel. So I'll see you soon right here in the kitchen of Ebony Ivy and Time where we do things in the kitchen for the kitchen. I'll see you soon. Blessings.